Right on, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to show you one we've been waiting for for a long, long time here at Lazy Acres. This is a 2022 Winnebago hike, model number 171 DB. You smell that, Brandon? I do. Excellence is what that is, buddy. That's what you smell there. This guy weighs around 3,600 pounds. We got a U-shaped dinette at the back, a front queen side slide, but it's beautiful. It's got all these extras, these 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 wicked kind of pieces. You know, it's only six and a half feet wide, 17 feet long, but we got an exoskeleton. We got solar, we got mudder tires. We got a whole lot going on. We're gonna buzz through it here with my friend, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for watching. We all really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Helps us know you like it. And we even got a special uh, special guest walking by here. Oh, special oh, guest. What's up, Kevin? Good morning, Kevin. Mr. Hamilton, just Good like morning. the city. Right on. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Kevin. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Right on, right on. We got ourselves a front power jack. Now, <clears throat> usually you get like propane tanks and some of that in here just sitting here loose. I love this. They got them in behind like this kind of shielded toolbox. It's it feels indestructible. We got two 20 pound propane tanks. Your battery, and, you know, your battery and box is going to fit in here. There's space over on the other side to put a secondary battery, but just nice how this is shielded. Put this down here, kind of lock that in place. You're not allowed to lock for paint tanks. So you don't actually lock it, but you can definitely latch this down, which is fantastic. Here's our exoskeleton. So this is going to protect the trailer. All right, you're not going to you know, hit like a tree branch or that kind of thing. It's going to help you protect this. It doesn't make the trailer indestructible, of course, but going through the brush, that kind of stuff, that's going to be wicked, kind of protecting everything. As we come around the, uh, the off-door side here, we have our pass-through storage. This goes all the way through and through there. It's nice and wide. You know, it's not overly tall, but it's at least four feet, five feet wide in through there. We've got our battery disconnect over there on that side, our charge controller. Now look at these jacks here, Brandon. You think these are manual jacks, right? Yep. You'd be wrong. They're electric jacks. Uh, this is just the manual override for that. So if you have an issue with the jack, you can still bring them up manually if you need to, but on the hikes, they are electric jacks. City water connection here. Now this is our kitchen pop out, pulling our kitchen off the floor, fridge vent, outside shower, kitchen window, that's cool. Now, like I said, the trailer's only six and a half feet wide, but the tires are still that full eight feet wide in through here, giving us a really nice secure stance. Our sewer drains there, gate fells are down below with our torsion kind of suspension in through here. It's gonna ride really, really nice. 30 amp detachable style cord, cable and sorry, cable inlet right through here. Fresh water fill, furnace vent, six gallon gas electric water heater. I know we got ourselves our exoskeleton here at the back. Uh, we're gonna hop up there in a second. I wanna talk to you about something. We have a class three receiver here at the back. This is not meant for towing a trailer, of course. This is meant for carrying like some kind of rack, that kind of thing. Now, one of the things I love, I love about this hike is it's one piece fiberglass right from here, all the way over top of the roof, all the way down the front. So usually, you would have a molding starting right here, and then this would flip to rubber, uh, you know, for, further forward. It doesn't, it's one piece all the way forward there. We got all kinds of roof fixtures and stuff like that. We continue the exoskeleton all the way forward, helping protect your roof, helping protect your kind of roof appliances, accessories, that kind of thing. I love, I, I, I love that feature, there's no joints, it's just all one piece, which is fantastic. Hopping down here. All right, coming down the door side, we do have an electric awning, which, you know, is nice, but we're kind of used to that. LED lights in it, outside speakers. We got a better look here at our kind of fender flares protecting your tires. Uh, this is not a step. It says it right on there. You can obviously use this for whatever you like. Um, fantastic. Good looking tires though, eh, hey, Brandon? Those are 15 inch mudder style tires, aluminum rims, good looking stuff. It's a little bit higher off the ground, so we do have the two step up in through here. Lend a hand, grab handle. Blackwater flush kit right here, and then these are the switches for the front jacks, and there's a set of switches right there at the back for the back jacks, and just the other side of our pass for storage. Let's have a look inside, folks. Right on, folks. We're inside that hike, 171 dB. This is probably gonna be the longest seven, you know, 17 foot trailer video we do. There's there's so much in here. We got this U-shaped dinette at the back, which is fantastic. I feel like I'm in a 30 foot trailer. Lots of space around the dinette. 
You can see the bunch of people around the back side. We can turn this into a, another bed if we need to. You just pull the table legs out, goes down there, you use the couch, the, the dinette cushions right through there, and they have our sleeping spot. We got this nice shelf here with a receptacle. We got four lights right over top of the dinette. This feels really well lit. We got three windows in behind me here. You can back this out, uh, back this into like a good spot with a view, which is fantastic. Uh, our return air for our furnace is there. We got our, uh, our, our another receptacle right through there. And then we have this bonus storage here. Now, while you're looking down, let's take a minute to appreciate this flooring. It's linoleum, but it kind of looks almost like a carpet. It got a great texture to it. Um, yeah, I, I'm a big, big fan of it. Obviously, because there's so much texture, if it gets a little dirty, it's not gonna look dirty, which is great. Um, and looks very, very durable. We got our main entrance right here. We're walking in, we're walking in past kind of this pantry shelving area. Our breakers and our fuses are there. We got a spot we can charge your cell phone. Our TV's right here across from the U-shape, which makes perfect sense. Looking up, we've got our tank heaters, our gas electric water heater switches, all that kind of switches and stuff like that is done in through here, which is great. And then walking into the kitchen area, um, you know, again, 17 foot trailer, we're now out in the slide. We have an undermount stainless steel sink, pull out faucet, glass stove top cover, two burners down below it, kitchen window looking outside. I love, I, if there's one thing I love with this, I love these doors. I don't know what it is. I think they're wicked. They're hidden hinges underneath there. No hardware to look at. Just looks super clean right here. Big, big fan of that. Here's our pantry space for all your food and stuff. Removable table if you want to turn that into a closet. And then we got some drawers in through here. These just move in nicely. I like the cabinets. They're a little bit lighter than the uh, the, the mini cabinetry. It's a little bit brighter in through here, which I like. Uh, we talked about the stove top. We're going to have a whack of storage here underneath the sink. Again, all hidden hinges, drawers, drawers. We got ourselves a three cubic foot gas electric fridge, and then the microwave is convection. All of that out in the slide. Let's have a look at the washroom here. Okay. We have a squat check. It checks out. The, the dump truck fits easy. Receptacle covered through here. Stainless steel sink, no medicine cabinet, but then we got this bonus kind of corner closet right through here. Let's see if I fit in the shower. I'm six feet tall. Okay, and I am bent over a little bit in through here. I do have shoes on, but I can definitely shower here. I can make this work. Uh, and then we got a fan here above me. Just get rid of that excess heat from the shower or the smells. Now this is a 60 by 74 inch queen. So that's what we call a trailer queen. Okay. Like I said, six feet tall. I'm definitely sleeping here. I got a window right above me, a shelf right above there. Extra window on that side. Get some nice cross ventilation. Roof mount AC. Whole lot going on for a 17 foot trailer. Anything you'd like to add, Brendan? No, I think this is a really cool small trailer. This is really, really cool. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends, and then you can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com. Have yourself a good day.